we want to choose which of the following substitutions would be the most helpful in evaluating the integrals. And we don't actually have to evaluate these integrals. So the first problem here is we're doing the integral of x squared minus 4 to the 5 halves power dx. So as you can see, our options here are a bunch of trig substitutions. So we just have to think about which one would be the most appropriate to help us solve this problem. So I'm sure when you get to the test, you're going to have situations memorized. If I see this form, I'm going to use secant. If I have this form, I'm going to use sine, etc. But I'll show you how we get that for this problem here. So remember that the identities that you're going to be using in these cases are sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. And we're going to use 1 plus tan squared equals secant squared. And remember that you can get this second one by just dividing every term there by cosine squared. So in order to use the uh, most appropriate substitution, what we need to have is a trig function minus a constant in one of these identities, and then that will be the one that we end up using. Now recall, since there's a 4 here instead of a 1, um, we're going to have to do something with that as well. But you can see the only way that we can get a trig function minus a constant, or the easiest way we can get that, not the only way, is that if we just subtract 1 in this second one, <clears throat> and we get that tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. So if this were secant squared minus 1, then we could just substitute with tangent, and that would be a nice easy substitution. So we're almost done, and we can't just say x is secant, though, because we have a 4 here. So we have to think we would want the 4 to still be a coefficient of the trig function. That way we could factor the 4 out, and then we would just have the trig function. So to get 4, we need to have a 2 in front of our substitution because it has to be squared. So that tells us that we want to use the substitution x equals 2 secant theta. So when we plug in 2 secant theta for x, we're going to get 4 secant squared theta. We can factor out the 4s, and that will be the exact substitution that we want. So again, we didn't have to evaluate this one for this problem. We just have to recognize how do we know which trig substitution to make, and this is how you do that for these.